Hello Aries, this will be some Milestone 2 video feedback for you. I'll be addressing the business card, the letterhead, and the leave behind concepts. Uh, Aries, I, I understand that you are unable to delete the blank pages in your PDF, so I hope I'm looking at the right things. I start to get to the good stuff down towards the bottom here, so let me zoom in. I'm assuming that uh, <clears throat> these are your letterheads. But you've also planned an envelope, it looks like. And is this, are these the business cards? No, that looks like an envelope of some kind. Um, okay, in general, it's difficult to bleed off of standard size paper. Uh, most printers won't bleed or won't print edge to edge. So be careful about, you know, these color bar bleeds. Now I like them. It's, so, it's similar to that Tiffany uh, turquoise or, or blue. I'm not sure how to characterize it. We talked a little bit about the logo, or I talked a little bit about the logo, and how, you know, if you could get away with uh, out having to outline the script letter forms in black. But um, I see that it's a little, when I zoom in, it's a little subtler than I, th I thought it was, at least on the screen. Um, well, that's another thing that comes to mind, too. I don't really see Aries Women's graphic design here at all. Um, so try to find a way to make that clearer. Um, maybe a different typeface that has a little bit more heft to it so that it knocks out of this blue uh, a little more cleanly. And again, I don't, I'm not sure how you could get away without using this outline, but it's maybe try something subtler. Maybe it's this purple uh, as an outline. See what that would look like. You might lose it altogether. Um, it is very abstract, however, and I like that. I appreciate that. You know, what about solid black? Would that be such a travesty? Just curious. Um, I like the way you've arranged the type on the letterhead. It's flushed white <clears throat> information. Print it out because our judgments made about type size on the screen are usually faulty and type can be a lot smaller in print, typically speaking. Um, I like that you carried them through. Now, your leave behind, I presume, is going to be uh, a card, a postcard. Nice. I like the uh, inspirational quote from Maya Angelou. And it's <clears throat> always good to read things like that. Um, I enjoy your typography. It's very sophisticated. Now. I guess this is the business card, correct? And this is the front, this is the back. Again, see how that is dropping out uh, of your logo? So you have to do something to, I think, improve the legibility of that portion of your logo. All right, now I hope I've looked at everything uh, in your PDF. Let me get to your leave behind. Um, you, you've very dutifully done the what you requested in your logo. Um, but when I come to this, I see this other possibility. And I agree with your rationale. So, you know, it's not too late to change. Um, I would, I would uh, what's the word? I, not appreciate, but respect, I think, the extra effort it would take to, you know, replace what you've done so far with this. And um, it does send a, a distinctive message, I think. Uh, and if you I think that that appeals more to your target audience than what you've done these previous three or four weeks, then I say all, by all means, adopt it. And uh, that's, <clears throat> that's the whole reason for this class is, you know, to develop your branding suite uh, so that by the time you get to the capstone course, um, you have a pretty good idea of what you want to project and what kinds of employment opportunities you want to aim towards. Uh, I noticed that you are interested in the Detroit uh, Convention and Visitors Bureau, becoming a designer for them. It's an exciting place to be, um, and I, you know, I, I wish the best for you. Um, and I think that this would be more targeted to that kind of audience uh, than what you've got, which, which is fairly sedate. You know, I mean, so this this projects to me dynamism and uh, something that uh, <clears throat> would further your goals, your career objectives. A uh, flipbook would be good. Um, I think you know, having uh, emphasizing color. Um, be careful it doesn't get out of hand, you know, become chaotic with uh, uh, sort of an unlimited color palette. But I think, you know, you've, you've committed yourself to, it looks like pastel of uh, basic primary colors. So it should be okay. Just, you know, be aware of visual chaos and that can come quickly with uh, multiple colors. Good job. I look forward to seeing how you um, <coughs> develop your branding scheme.